contact information on fox6now.com. Mary? All right. Thank you, Justin. It is Election Day in Wisconsin, but just a fraction of the state's registered voters are expected to hit the polls. One political expert says that just doesn't make any sense. A.J. Byatpour joins us live from Milwaukee's northwest side with more on uh, what seems to be a low voter turnout. A.J.? Very good evening. Voters are trickling into the Henry David Thoreau School here at 60th and Bradley. Although spring off your elections usually don't feature big name candidates like a presidential or gubernatorial race, there's still a lot at stake today. That's why political experts say they're perplexed by the low turnout estimate. A small but steady number of voters cast their ballots at this YMCA on the northwest side Tuesday. That includes Nicole Hartley, who says this election means just as much to her, if not more, than a national election. Because sometimes when you vote in these off elections, they have more impact on your everyday life than the presidential elections do. UWM professor Mordecai Lee says that may well be the case Tuesday with voters deciding the balance in the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Depending on the results of today's election, either the conservative majority is retained or it's flipped and the conservatives become the minority. The other high profile vote is the race for state superintendent of public instruction, which Lee calls a referendum of sorts. Do we expand choice or do we stick with what we've got right now? And in a low turnout election, just about anything can happen. And in a low turnout election, each vote carries more weight. That's why Lee says voters should be especially proud of the ballots they cast Tuesday. It makes me feel like I'm doing something important. It makes me feel like I'm doing something for my family and uh, for the community. I take a lot of pride in the fact that I have voted in just about every single election since I've turned 18. <laughs> I've only missed a few because I, I just think it's important. It's one of our rights that we were given and I take it seriously. Well, the GAB estimates a statewide turnout of about 20% for this election. Compare that to about 70% turnout statewide last November for the presidential election. We're live on the northwest side of Milwaukee this evening. AJ Byatt for Fox 6 News. Thank you, AJ. Now, AJ